talking. This is Shara from Shara and David Guest Farms, and today we're going to talk about zucchini. Now we've got we've had a lot of problems with zucchini in the past, to the fact that last year we didn't even try to grow any because we had the vine borer get into the plant and just kill it overnight, and we never knew what the problem was. So this year we've researched it and we've come up with uh, the best thing for us right now to keep the vine borers out and I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. Okay, so what we did this year is we decided to cover them with this really, really fine mesh, which we got off Amazon. Uh, it was fairly cheap. Um, we put in uh, PVC pipe in order to give it a little bit of height so that we could actually cover it. And then we've got it just kind of um, secured down so that the, the vine bores can't get in to wreck our plants. And so far it's been working great. We've had like six zucchinis already. Um, we probably put the PVC, PVC pipe just a little bit too low because you can see that they're busting out right now but this is our first year so it's been kind of trial and error but so far it's working um, the only problem is is that the pollinators can't get in there if the bugs can't get in the pollinators don't get in there either and that's the problem so what we've had to do is we've had to hand pollinate because what happens is you've got the female that starts on the vine with a little bit of fruit but if it doesn't get pollinated it doesn't grow it just it just dies off eventually. So we've had to get in with a uh, paintbrush or we've used a Q-tip. We have to find the male flower when it's open, take some of the pollen out of the male flower, and then take the pollen and put it into the female flower. So it's a little bit of a process, but for us, it's worth it because we love zucchini. We do everything with zucchini, which we'll talk a little bit more later. So, I want to show you what that's going to look like within the plant itself. Okay, so we've got the bug netting pulled back. Um, we've actually got it clipped onto the PVC pipe, so it's really easy just to unclip it and then um, just quickly pull it back. Okay, so we've got a paintbrush. We've also been using Q-tips as well, so if you don't have a small paintbrush handy, you can just use a Q-tip, it's super easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what the male flower looks like, what the female flower looks like, and then show you how we actually pollinate. So we've got, um, our zucchini. Now the other tricky part is that you have to make sure that some that the male there's a male and a female open at the same time because as you can see there's a there's a ton of flowers but they're closed. So for example right here this is a male and you can see kind of obviously why how we know it's a male okay and that's where the pollen's going to come from and then over here we have a female and it kind of looks like a bunch of like knuckles inside so you can see that that's the female so we're actually going to take the paintbrush or the zucchini or sorry the q-tip and we're gonna rub it from the male and then put it on the female so we'll show you what that looks like but in the meantime you can see that we've got some squash and those would not be the size that they are if we did not pollinate those. Okay, so they're about ready to pick, but we had one at the very first, and you can kind of see right down here. Well, I think it's one of these, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but anyway, we didn't pollinate it, and it just kind of basically just shriveled up and died. So, if you don't pollinate it, they won't grow. All right, so this is what it'll look like. So, on the male, we're just going to take a little bit of the pollen and you'll be able to see it on the q-tip so see the yellow on the q-tip so you know that you've got some pollen and then we're going to take it over and 
just place it on the inside of that flower. Now we generally do it um, a couple of times, like one one day and one the next, if the flower's open. But if it's not, we hope that it takes the first time. So we try to get as much pollen as we can off the male and then try to put it into the female flower because they're not always open at the same time or on the same day. Okay, so let us know if you have any questions and uh, put your comments into um, the comments in the bottom. If you like our videos, please subscribe. We have other ones that we've got on Greenhouse for Beginners and and this is our greenhouse we're going to talk a little bit about shade cloth on our next video and like and subscribe put any comments in the bottom if you, ha if you have any better suggestions please let us know that we'd love to hear from you thanks and we'll see you next time